Sadly, she was no longer in Novigrad. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the temple guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. What's up, dude? All good? Zoltan. Get out! About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! <laughs> I see elves are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. And believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Sides, I'm certain you snuffed his killers out on the spot. So why worry? Tonight, I think... Tell me about the other cards really. instead. And then tomorrow, I'll be... Relaxing Didn't most of the day, the and then out in the Fuck. evening for Charlotte's birthday. Oh, God, I must have sold them. Um, Listen, that's it, God really. Sunday, show me. Bit of shopping. Mm. Entry show I'm selling the cards TV, to Caesar Billson in the Ravi. What about you? What have you got planned? Yeah, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Ravi, who's he? A common card shop and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I gave him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Who's Caesar Pilsen? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar up together. What, the fractured butthole? Meet me outside this townhouse. Gordius Eyesore and Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first... I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. I bet that's a well good game. I bet it's well funny as well. I haven't watched anything on it yet. I'll watch some gameplay later. I think. Uh, hurts as much as but I, I remember playing Stick of Truth, which was hilarious.
It was almost time to go to Skellige, I think. Wrong. Yeah, that's just like... Now the first one was wrong. It's like you put your name in, Cotman's like, yeah, so you want to be called Douchebag. No, I don't want to be called Douchebag. Oh, so you're called Douchebag. I'll name you Douchebag. <laughs> it's just brilliant. How about that? It's the flea ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure would be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. It's oh, like I'm about to fuck these guys up. because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Rad was just about to play for his life, and... Oh, you've got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broke. So, the seems the witch will have to pay for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Rav is on board. What are you saying? We add some spice to the game. Oh, I'm going to lose this game. Rav is live and the Natal is coming. Fancy that? Oh, I'll give it a try. Agreed. <laughs> and here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play! Let's play! Yeah, i got to play Gwen. This ain't going to be good. Might as well start with the deck that I've got. Deck's fine, right, okay. Let's see if I can play it though. Oh, I'll go first, brilliant. Keep the decoys. Let's get rid of that card. Oh, what card? Oh, I have to clear, clear weather. What is, what does that do? Only the cards the same name in deck and play them instantly. Okay. Let's put you down. Oh, I should have used a... No, I, would have been... I don't think it would have been good, actually. Let's put you there.
Oh, it's not. It's in the discard pile. That was just a waste of my time then, wasn't it? Pass. Dude, I've done that. I smashed that. I'm gonna have to kill these guys anyway. But, but he won. So now we'll play something else. Yeah, I messed up. You... Go on, what did I mess up on? <laughs> you boys got done over. Traffic. Don't know how I'll repay you. Natalis card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might like. I'm in a hurry. The Natalis card, of course. Here. Where did I bugger up? Just so I remember. Easy, drunk. Use medic to that soldier card that helps out his mates. Or this one. Yes, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I picked the wrong one, but I used it. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. I thought I'd try and be sneaky and play the other card, but I forgot that that card was in a discard pile, not in my deck. Yeah. Yeah. I revived it trying to be sneaky, not realising, like I just said, that it was in the discard pile, not the deck. Something sharpened, reforged. What do you have on offer? Interesting. Flawless emerald, flawless diamond. Hmm. Hundred percent chance to cause bleeding. Oh yes, that's really good. That can be anything as well.
Look at that. Right. So long. Right, let's go find this guy. We make a living. We've no monsters. Last chance to surrender the thinking customer. Let's deal with this side of the point. Ah, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Got the Natalis card. Excellent! Now we've just Caesar bills into fleece, and we'll be home free. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. He certainly keeps the card there. Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. Afraid Caesar'd never sell Frangilla. But don't you worry. He won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the Motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. <laughs> I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his rarely leaving home. Also why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vigo Varo at the top of your lungs. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go! Caesar Milzen. I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Ponta. The Pike's king of the Ponta. Uh, well, see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish. And I do not come empty-handed. Who's he? Well, him. Well, that's, that's Geralt. Does say Geralt fish? Yeah. Cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. And the ponta! You betcha! <laughs> Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! So what the zanders are eager vitals if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse is a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. And it tasted like thyme flavor shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme. Get out. Care to chime in? How Xander taste to you? Shit. All right. Grab your rods. We're off to the Ponta. How about this drivel stand? Not in your own home. Well then, did you hear Vibo Batilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponta Pike had so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life bait. 
You're night crawlers, though the pike hands is eager, I don't know why. Once, I dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would I eaten it myself? Well, I'm not so sure. Hey, Geralt, what are you and your pals use up at Caer Morehead? Live bait. You see, Chiwi, he'll make a good angler yet. In some 50, 60 years. <laughs> we'll wait and see. Get out. Go fetch us another bottle. Right. Can see the bottom of this one. So, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with you. Forget what happened last time. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Knife looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Door is open. Hmm. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Portrait of Emperor Amir, temper on wood. Pretty flattering, I'd say. The 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Joachim Devet Skull. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Ah, here's Fringilla. Debt collector. Zoltan, time we were on our way. Ah, I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We have a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him! And you two, get lost! Leave him alone. Cleaver, be extra for killing the witcher. Well, up to you, lads. Haven't they got all day? Seems 
You back, bro? Thanks. Oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Ah, oh, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir, the Joachim de Vett's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, oh shit! Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. <sighs> if you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Good idea. Take it by her house when I get a chance. So, got the full set of cards. What now? Now we collect a shake load of coin for them. Let's go. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's a juke silk. No doubt about that. Hmm. You know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone. As long as they pay. I have them all. Ooh. Why is this guy walking into me? He's a strange oh, fellow. Oh, I can't wait to get the king of beggars out of my beer. Oh, interesting. Faith killer. Oh, good one. I'm out of the menus. Good one. What are you doing on here watching this anyway? Ah, at last. I fear the body's gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome. Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat. Well, they're all gonna get destroyed. Geralt. Bastards getting away with my coin! Damn it! With our coin! Chase the horse and I'll tend to the others! Whoa! Oh, you get! Good one. <laughs> Facebook. Lol. Well, I need to go inside and up. Let's have a look. Hey, you're just jealous. You're not playing it. I mean, have you not gone into the menus yet, guy? Stop light. Oh, that's the one thing that does annoy me about this. I'm right next to the ladder. Stop lighting. Up that way. Also not moved, out. What? Can't understand a word. Is that a threat? Something close? Who? Oh, okay. <laughs> get away, Duke. Might as well stop. Again. 
There is. Why is he so far ahead? I'm just behind him. Ah, oh, kit went down. Sounds like Rye. What sounds like Rye? Ha! <laughs> ah, the guy here on the, on the floor. Uh, good one. This Duke's gonna get slayed, I swear down. I might have been nice and knock him over first. Hello, guy. How about we have a little chat, yeah? Leave me, swiving drowners. <laughs> Didn't even get John's You could use a Witcher. Ha ha! Highly amusing. If if I give you the coin, will you leave me be? Nah. No. Rather make sure this was our last meeting. Yes, Geralt. You made me run all that way. No way was I going to let you live. So, you get them? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? Mm -hmm. Ah, that's grand. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I never managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. I'll take the cards. Kinda curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent! I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Sultan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontar. Right. Nope. Let's go to the next quest. me up with Triss. Well, well, with the Where's Is this a morning job? Have I got to wait till the morning? Where is she then? Oh, 
that's long. Who burned the hunter's quarters down? Don't worry though, I don't like them goat plowers either. What are you about? Eight at the kingfisher, your sword. Two days. Just gotta adjust the good position where they tossed the. Geralt agreed out of concern for the prosecute, persecute major's fate and Triss' fate most of all, but it doesn't say. Oh, well that's really, really good, isn't it? Can't bother to do another one. And do this. Just punch some people up. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Triss might have gone to Skelligar. And I haven't been there yet. That is a very good point. Name's Geralt. Patty Gruber. I'm a bookie. I trust you're here to fight. I'm ready. Hear that? A fight at last. Our champion, Archibald O'Neill, to face Geralt. Fight! Come on, come closer. Come on, guy. Superman. Cold. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion. The man who dethroned Archibald O'Neill. Bravo to Geralt. A beautiful bout. Want to be crowned the best in Novigrad. Who do I got to fight? Well, if you yearn to fight some more, you must certainly face the captain of the guard. Defeat Iron Mortimer. Let's go smash him up. No loitering round here. No loitering round here. Yeah, all right, mate. I'll loiter wherever I want. Suspicious to me. Shut up, guy. Finally, 
someone took pity. Thank you. Mm. Oh. I'm Geralt of Rivia. It matters not what you're called. It matters not where you're from. What matters is if you're prepared to fight Captain Mortimer. I'm ready. Let's do this. Fight! Ah, oh, straight off the bat, is it? Troops, here now! What? Lost your nerve? Oh, Superman! Oh, out cold. Anybody else? Have I got a fight? Geralt of Rivia dethrones Captain Mortimer. Behold your prize champion. You have earned the honor to challenge Novigrad's champion, Durden the Tailor. You will find him in far corners and fight there as well after sundown. Reckon I could become champion. No loitering round here. No loitering round here. Oh my god, oh, nah mate, I like to fight my guard down. It's fun, isn't it? It's like they try and jump you. Where is he? There he is. Ah, we've been expecting you. We're already taking bets. You've been weighed, you've been measured, and you've been found scrawny. Scrawny? In what world could you possibly defeat me? The newcomer may seem all skin and bones, but remember, he defeated the sergeant to the bloody baron of Velen. This elf's a dick. That been the case with all champions of Novigrad? No. I am the first. Do you know why they call me the tailor? It began after I gutted some men with these very hands. <sighs> I knew that was going to be a shitty story. <laughs> yes. Came here to fight the tailor. So let's do this. Novagraders, one and all, a momentous occurrence. Before us, in just minutes, Geralt of Rivia will face the tailor. Come here, bitch. Uncle Durden wants to sew you a new face. Might at least have died with dignity. Oh. Come on, come closer. Oh, no, 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 no.
This is tough one. Ah! Oh. I'll have to do it again. Take a yeah, go cheers, Rashi Rangai. Here's a little bit embarrassing. Don't worry, I'll do it again. Let it be known that Durden has won the bout and retained the title of Champion of Novigrad. I want to fight the tailor again. <laughs> yeah. That was my bad. I'm ready. A couple of basic things I, I screwed up with. And again, he's throwing stuff that shouldn't be be able to be thrown. Oh my god. Yeah, well, Taylor's got my number. Well, he, he almost, but you know. If you've not had your fill of slapabouts just yet, you'll find other uh. eager challengers in Velen and Skellige. I screwed up a bit with that fighting. That was my bad completely. Screwed up with that, but I, I think I'm all right now. I think it might be time. What do you guys reckon to go to Skellige? Haven't been there once yet. Fight a bear? Are you taking the mick? Rashiang, what? Really? Rashiang? Really? A bear? Well, I've defeated many bears, but in a fist fight, that's, that's something else. Oh. Need to borrow one of your props, one of the swords you use for stage battles. My, whatever do you need that for? I don't know, but Dandelion claims it's essential. Core oh, troll. Oh, yes. <laughs> Big difference I between a bear and a troll, but oh, I reckon I could be all right. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. The 
they say, a bomb of layers does to pause. At the same time, both. Tro and the bear. I fought three people. Three people? Two, no, two, two people. That quest where you had to fight two at once. Done that. Uh huh, uh, true. Dusk. Oh, dude, dusk. Dusk is morning. Idiot. Why am I thinking it's the afternoon? Good one. Ah, finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Huh. This can actually work. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, Whoa. and your mask. Put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No Trish time. just seems Sophie to not. Coming. She's getting married, right? So she's clearly moved on. But Yennefer, you know, she's that dark gothic type of girl that you're like, yes, go on, yes. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Tremble, flaxen-haired wench. Um, bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. No, not the Crimson Avenger. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Ah! Oops. I've been hit! Ow! To the house, quickly! He shan't get us there! Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be! This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? I don't know if I was supposed to hit him, but, um, oops. Heh, <laughs> knew you were a man of good taste. Yeah, Trish is fun and all, but Yennefer. Plus, I never really like Trish's face. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, trying to count on. There we go. Countering's clearly not my strong point at the moment. 
It's more skinny than crimson. No, it's not. It's pink. Pink mask. Good pink mask. So the oh, are you calling trap? Okay, I'm going back and smashed him up. Old man Newman left me a gift last time. You were a vulgar one. He never gave me nothing but trophy, did he? I'd give you a discount for her own. Well, you know. Hey there, handsome. Why is he out on the floor? Understanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today, so we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in, and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peach. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Why are you asking me? Well, the lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. But that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrived. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Get home. You've known him longer. Say something. Theatre, he loves his theatre. artists, and cabaret is a form of theatre. Interior should reflect that. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret is the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action, and so quickly. Who knows? Might Gotta make some money, but doesn't he? You'll have to keep an eye Gotta on make a profit. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. Are we talking about the same Dandelion? Man who loses a fortune with half of Novigrad in one night? Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure, I hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. Now I'm a material girl. Good one, material world. Let's go find Dandelion. Forever finding that guy. Do you? Hattori Hanzo. and her half-brained fiancé. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Oh, oh, hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. 
Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice! Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've gotta help Polly! Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio... You'd visit her? Often? I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary and Time. They worked on the dance numbers I, I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter and start looking. All right. Fine. Let's find the key. Damn it. Now where would she leave? Not here. Get out of my ass! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the f She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass! Shut up, or I'll split your skull! I'll split your face, mate. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right. So, Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt. But its open sortedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. Good one. What's he lying? What's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Dan did I make tons of money, didn't he? Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlix. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do.
No, I wasn't that much of a dick. I'll go see Rod. Post office. You head back to the Rosemary. Where are you going? To the, are you so at work, Flo? Post office. Really? I didn't know there was one near you. you. Go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. That's a very distinct place to where he lives, Portside. Bandit. Looks like I'm gonna have to have a fight. Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses pit clean. It's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding times first come, first serve. What do you want? I'm just here for some placards. You deaf? Didn't you hear, mate? This is all mine now. Fuck off, freak. Oh well. <sighs> and here I thought we'd resolve this peacefully. You regret this, mutant. <laughs> Fighting two at the same time. Oh my god. Fighting. Just one simple placard. Clearly, fighting hand to hand is not my forte at the moment. And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vagal butter state, losing his last crowns at the races. See, wasn't that easy? Could have said so right away. Just kill him. Can't attack him now. Let me see what's upstairs. Anything upstairs for me? Just rinsed him through stuff. Want some placards? That's what I wanted. No need for a fight. But that's what they wanted.
Let's crack on. If you've coin for the rider's fee and a steed of your own, why not? Decide quickly, please. There's a race about to begin. Go on, then. Grand, your name and the name of your steed. Geralt of Rivia, on Roach. Excellent. Your opponent, let me see. Seamus Holt, astride Athos. Let's have a little race before I carry on these missions. Let's see how bad I am. Saddle up on three, one, two, three, off you go! Seems like I have trouble following along. Yet we shouldn't kid ourselves. The competition was hardly stiff. Shall I sign you up for another? Yeah, go on then. Like to race again. Excellent. Don't go anywhere. We'll start soon. Your opponent this time, Viscount Roma astride Caniculus. The Viscount Sorry, races incognito, so I must ask for your discretion. What did I just get a superior? Is that what I just got? Fifty stamina. Forty-five, fifty. Sixty stamina. What have I got? Eighty-five stamina. What? I don't want that one, dismember. So I've got all the stamina that I need. Saddle up on three. One, two, three. Off you go. Come on, Roach. Oh, hello. Why are you running down there for? That's close. Should give me enough stamina all the way to the end now. Sometimes you don't turn the corner right. Hear ye, hear ye. The 
Yeah, I didn't really I didn't realise I had them until then. I'm gonna sell I'm gonna sell them as soon as I get a chance to. You're not wrong. I should have sold them, but I will do now. Well, when I get a chance to. Bravo, congratulations, you won in style. Shall I sign you up for another? Wanna try again? Gained an appetite, have we? Your opponent this time? Duke Vagelbud, young Lord Albert's cousin, atop Succubus. He's the black sheep of the family, but he's not lost a race yet. So he's seen as something of a local champion. I'm on, I'm about to do him over. Right, what did I just get? Just got... Rugged. 70 maximum, I've already got 100. Saddle up! On three! One! Two! Three! Off you go! Whoa. Whoa, why is he running all the way over there? That'd be me. Fantastic race. Congratulations. A grand victory. Superior cavalry saddle. What did that give me? Rubbish. Geralt of Rivia. Got it right. What do you want? To express my admiration on account of your victory. And here. Brought you an invitation from the boss. He'd like to congratulate you personally. Farewell. I think I'm gonna go do that. But I need to talk to Clee. No. You Rodlick. Henri Rodlick. Artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. 
Oh, yes. Well, tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them, as a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. I always got to do something and for now, somebody else. Captain Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm to wager on a race. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. We've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to the Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me, win, pay your debts, then give me the placards. You are that good a rider? Far from the worst. Go tell the Count you accept his offer. Whoa! Cheeky. I've got to catch him up now. See that guy. In there. It's my thumb slipping. Sun in my eyes. Can't see where I'm riding. Oh, you have got to be joking. That, no. No. I'm not having that. I'm as good as dead. Time to flee to sea. For. That really annoyed me. Oh. Let me pay off your debt. No strings attached. That really annoyed me. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Yes, you! You got water on the brain! Absolutely ridiculous. The horse just moved itself. Take it easy. Take it easy, Rashi Hang. Nice to see you again, man. Nice to chat to you. Enjoy, enjoy yourself, bro. How are things, Dudu? So, so, I suppose. Might have been days in the past when I'd have said, wonderful, but I can't complain. I'm in one piece, not bound to a stake atop a pyre. Gotta admit, your manga is a brilliant impersonation. Don't remind me, I'm rather disgusted. Come on, he wasn't all out terrible. You understand nothing. A doctor assumes more than a man's external appearance. I've learned what a scoundrel had knocking about in his head. 
Once I became him, not an hour passed before I felt the urge to break her sorceress's fingers. After two, I caught myself lusting to impale someone, and immediately after that, it hit me. The paranoid fear of a Doppler conspiracy. Take care of yourself, Dudu. Oh, those bigots haven't the cunning to strip me of this mask. He was well, in the well. I wonder why. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it. Especially the, uh, accoutrements on the wall. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And... She say anything about me? She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible, got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't... Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. Ask the dandelion. Priscilla, she's... What? Speak, man. She's badly, uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Gomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Whoever attacked Priscilla is about to get murdered. No need for that. Priscilla, is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but you are a relative? A relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery? Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? 
Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Great analogy, but this tumor's not gonna sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, and I assure you I can take care of myself. Easy assurance to make, harder to back up. Especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. Any idea what leaves such a mark? A flail. Morningstar, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Let me repeat. I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. Can't go around doing that to that girl, man. Priscilla. Sewers. What's that about? Thick. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Is it not better to nip the problem in the bud? I tried to get the temple guard to enter the sewers, alas. Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Sugarcoating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Take the ladder. Let's 
go have a look. The we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. This one. Human, wrong body type. This looks like it. on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Let's examine the mouth. Burns, blisters. Just like Priscilla's. Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some gray dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. Afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin. An incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zugel up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. 
formaldehyde, a medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue in stronger proportions. It's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. Look at his hands, these welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard. Right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. Yeah, apologies. We surgeons... We've a different sensibility. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please. Because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. Oh, ritual punishment, no motive, murder is mad. I think it's a ritual. Some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets, cavity where the heart should be, scalding liquid, all centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. You old friends. Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill, not save the world. You've not changed a bit. A compliment? No, a statement of fact. Thirty years, and you've not changed a bit. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but... They're friends of the deceased, here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own arse. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. You didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. He's not changed a bit. It seems like our guy is a lot older. 
Nathaniel. Who is he? A scoundrel. A rogue. Like every man who wears the robes of the Eternal Fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer. Delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the temple guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the temple on the isle, and so forth. Hmm. Dream job. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. I decide when we're done with this subject. What's your connection to him? An old story. But if you insist... The student protests in 1242, you've heard of them? I led them. Hubert, however, denounced me to the authorities. I landed in prison. Good one, Hubert. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. Dude, you're back from the post office. Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no what? Uh, one of them, right? Oh, <laughs> My shit horse race, dude! It ran into like the the wall on purpose. It really angered me. One of them. So there have been other bodies like that. <laughs> sure have. <laughs> Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame, that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Piece off, mutant. I'll tell you what, he's about to get knocked out. I'd advise you not to anger me, or you'll get an inside tour of the crematory. Touch me, the guards will be hiding your ass for you can't free. To save a little shit like you? Doubt it. Those clever lads, more cleverer than you. They know use this. No, they want me on their side. Cause you'll all die one day, and then I'll decide where your body winds up. A grave, the crematorium, or elsewhere. Yeah, they bugged at me a few times. Oh, this guy's this guy. I'm gonna have to pay him. Oh, I want to knock him out now. That's yes. out for coin. Fine, have some. Now talk. What did you find on him? Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look. Vellum. Quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner cell it is new. That's human skin. Priscilla. Next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Bang. Out cold. Oi, fucking hell. I don't care, mate. For everything. Oh, 
boy, fucking hell, what was that for? Just a clever thing to do, well, not it? Oh no, they're down, they're down. Altogether different. Set you stupid much light out. Come on, come on, eh? Slowly now, lest they bite you. I'm scared of them. A better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I ran to a mate who raises fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But I sleep sound at least. So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? That's my bad. my bad. Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to falling one in particular. He'd say, it's all your fault, dirty bitch, human dishrag. And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her? Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenford, and I was coming home. I saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, Last they're gonna miss him burn another hag. But well, the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered around the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. 
They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything? They not it. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. The Novigrad folk give bleeding orphans in the street a white berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. Fine. We've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Bloodstains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Murderer dragged something heavy. Dragged something across the floor. Statues. More dragged it from one wall to the other. Repeatedly. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... ...since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. Oh my god. Controller bugged out. Stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Eyes, humanoid, completely rotten. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Nothing interesting. Had a look at your sculptures. What? Lifelike, aren't they? Mm hmm. The women, especially. Never seen a bust that size on Melitoli. Oh, aye. Fabian's handiwork. I told him, brother, tits like that would crush her back. Went them down. He said, nay, they'd sell better this way. Told me to shut me trap. And sell they did. Till one sermon at the temple. And the celebrating reverend said that whoso buys idols from the non-human Myers sins twofold, as a heretic and as a lecher. That was the end of that. Already know what happened. Fabian was in the workshop. Murderer attacked him there. They struggled. Fabian was overpowered. Then tortured. For a time. I needn't know the details. Truth be told, I haven't the stomach for him. When it was over, the murderer dragged Fabian to the courtyard. Then made a pyre of sculptures, set them aflame. But why? Why do all that? To teach a lesson. To him, you, the whole city. Fine, we've talked enough. Won't learn anything else here. Take care. Wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Got a problem. Hey, handsome. A brazier. This time of year. Human. Priscilla's. Grab him! That him. Oh, I know that know. smell. Watch him, see what he does. Died. Damn it. Ha! Ah! 
fuck off! Piss off! Return to the scene of their crime. Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade, but none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Man's footprint. The murderer's, maybe. Wait on his heel. Took a step back. Fucking light of the fire bullshit again. Eternal fire, just let me finish him off. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. 
Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Von Gratz told me all about you. Ah. Doubtless you've heard how I had the noble leader of the student protesters thrown in prison. But did you hear the protests were far from peaceful? Or did he neglect to mention it? People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but... Alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? What? Nah, Let's start. there's something else. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment? Made of human skin? A message from the murderer. The name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her, now. Next time, Master. Alright, let's quickly do this one straight up. I've taken the wrong turn. Nope, apparently I am going. I was going the right way. Let me in. What do you want? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, I'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. 
I'll take you to Lady Vega, bud. Just no trickery. Understand? Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, this, uh... cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square, but it was not a word on the way home. She had all the holy books in Sydney's reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Ah! Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine, but wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. What's going on? Halt! For I put a bolt between your eyes! Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but... Lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother, why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid. I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body. A note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time.
Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's, fast. Excuse me. Sorry, that came as a bit of a shock. These dumb guys. Let's go there. This is quite brutal, isn't it? Yeah, definitely the side missions are much more brutal. This is a very dark side mission as well. Because Priscilla, she was nice. She sung. She was nice to everybody. She didn't hurt nobody. And then she gets her eyes scooped out. She gets her eyes scooped out. What is that about? But this dude will get smashed. I will burn him. Like brutally. Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. Where's the stairs? They're behind me, idiot. No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though, whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again, you disturbed me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. Try it, you bastard. Smashed him. Give me something. Let's get sweet Nettie out. You're free now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If not for you. He asked if I did everything and I said, for the right price, of course. And then he smiled. Oh God, it gave me the shivers. And then he hit me. So hard I passed out. I was bound when I came to. And he was here in the poker, in the fire. <laughs> Calm down. He won't hurt you anymore. He won't hurt anyone. I 
Wanna bite me, Wolfie? No, I don't wanna bite you. People, help me! You too. Yeah? I will kill you. Get it from both sides. Eye for an eye. <laughs> I just helped you. You turn the fuck off. Take this, burn it, hide it. Take this, burn it, hide it. Take what? What? Nothing was there. Oh, I don't know. Strange mission, bugging out. Just let me kill all the eternal fire guys. So I've almost touched. No, you don't go. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The witch's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. Don't mention it. Nothing a friend wouldn't do. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe... She might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. To my right. Mm. 
Trouble me, Grey Looks. Alright, let's get on Roach and go. Let's beat these witch hunt hunters up. Nothing fucking but one ploughing trouble after the other. We'll watch it to you. Who are you? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Radovid sent me. No, oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you. Don't exactly sound delighted. Would you expect us to? We've done half the work. Now you show up and take all the glory. Word was you hadn't been able to get inside. Till yesterday, when we found this. Doesn't look like much, but it's got power of some sort. Opens the entrance. Great. I'll take that now if you don't mind. Here, choke on it, you twit. What can I expect to find inside? Everything, anything. It's an old elven temple, the witch Isleheart turned into her hideout. Look at him. Fell into some magic trap, then monsters attacked him. Barely got out alive. Any of your men still down there? Rubbish witch hunters, aren't they? No cell went in. They's all that came out. Rest are probably dead. Of course they are. Time I saw if Philip is still in there. Don't count on anyone going in to retrieve your corpse. What do you reckon? Think you'll find something? That could. Well, you can say two credits. Yeah, I nearly quit in time. Rubbish in it. 
but I'll still stream until I stop play playing and then you can look at it another time in it oh what's that ah sod it gotta be some mechanism that opens this door Yeah, man, you too. Have a have a good one, man. Perfect hideout for an owl. Be a bit harder for me to move around. Cavella Glen. Portals. Great. The witch hunters are looking to mess with them. Works. Who would have thunk? Eight portals. Make my stomach turn. A remix. It's Edge Afraid. This is an owl feather. Cell for portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. Should work now. Stay back. Not one step closer. Sheave that before you hurt yourself. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you that witcher the king was supposed to send? Guessed it. You should know by now how dangerous this place is. I'll wait up above with the others. Not a chance. Those cowards ran at the first whiff of monsters. I made a stiffer stuff. Besides, something big set to happen here. I just know it. I learn what it is. Radovid will appreciate it. King will promote me. Maybe even give me a medal. Or you just die. What's the big event that's supposed to happen? Mm, don't know the details, but I came across Philippa Eilhart's notes. Mentioned Ida Emian, Margarita Lowe Antiel, Francesca Finderbear, and Frangela Vigo. As I see it, they aim to meet here. All right, let's get you out of here. Told you already, no chance. Besides, the teleport's power cell. I broke it off. We have to wait till they come for us. 
Got no choice. Nobody's gonna come for us. Give me the crystal, I'll get us out of here. Well, the monsters? I'll defend you. What if you can't? No time to argue. Give me the crystal. Over my dead body. Have it your way. Any last words? I want them up, Poxy Mutant! Right. Enough. I'll give you the dumb crystal. Out of my way. Love letters. <laughs> Interesting. I'll have a dumb some woman for a beak strap. Another feather. Doubt Philippa had an aviary. These are signs of polymorphy. Activated. Another feather. Doubt Philippa had an aviary. These are signs of polymorphy.
the sentry. Chairs. Modest, but a home nonetheless. Agates. The kind Philip always wore around her neck. Except, why are these covered in blood? She either fought someone, or let us in her surgical instruments. Philippa operated on someone here. Notes. Charred. Almost completely. Can't read a thing. Scope. Scorched, covered in soot. Maybe one of the crystals survived. Hmm. What's this? Aniseed and birch bark. Powerful disinfectant. from a megascope, heavily chipped. You're alive! Find anything? Not your concern. Wrong there, friend. I serve the king. Everything that concerns him's my concern as well. Hand it over, whatever you found. We'll see the king gets it. Forgetting yourself. Save your orders for your men. As you wish. Grab him! Damn. Get you in a pair of pincers or white hot toys. Spread out! <laughs>
Why are you bugging out? See what I mean? This controls. Stay on the road. There you go. you've got there. Of course it's interesting. Won't see a beast like this anywhere near here. They spawn only in the wild wastes of Zeracania, from eggs laid by cockerels. Cockerel eggs, you say? Yeah, and what cocks they are. Lift their rumps like brood ends to other cocks. Eggs laid by such a cockerel must be brought to hatch him by 101 venomous vipers. Then, the young basilisk pecks its way out. This basilisk is interesting. It looks exactly like a wyvern. Young one, and he'll fed it that. You talk nonsense, sir. This is the most truest of basilisks. Right, what do I know? I'm just a witcher. Hold on now. If that's no basilisk, but some wyvern, what did I pay for? Give me back my con cheat. Brave soldiers, don't push, or it'll... Whoa, watch out! Basilisk. Out of the way. Hey, I'm watching you. Huh? What the fuck? Honor in the fire. Right, thanks guys for watching. Take t take care.